Approximately half of those cases where a couple seeks pregnancy and doesn't achieve it are due to the male factor. Of all the possible causes, one of those described is the presence of bacteria in the semen. The presence of bacteria in our body is widely known. Some are pathogenic, causing disease, and others are beneficial to humans. As molecular techniques evolve, its presence has been demonstrated in places and fluids where it was not thought it should exist. Accordingly, the male urogenital tract is colonized by a number of microorganisms. An article published this year in the specialized journal Andrology shows that the profile of microorganisms present in the semen of patients with alteration in their seminal quality is different from those of normal zoospermic patients, that is, with normal seminal parameters. On the other hand, can we be sure that a seminal infection will affect the sperm quality? The answer to this question is a real controversial issue. While some authors don't find this relationship in their work, other authors do relate the presence of seminal infection with alterations in concentration, progressive motility, and DNA fragmentation of sperm, among others. For this reason, under certain circumstances, it may be advisable to carry out a seminal or sperm culture to rule out a possible infection. In general, it's not advisable to perform a seminal culture as a routine before undergoing assistant reproduction treatment or freezing sperm, being at the discretion of the specialist who is evaluating your case. Given the indication of a seminal culture, what precautions should be taken when taking the sample? A sexual abstinence between three and five days. Strict genital hygiene must be carried out before collecting the sample to avoid contamination. Semen collection must be done in a sterile container. Finally, the sample should be taken to the laboratory as soon as possible to be processed.